Right now, I have Celeste Trotz next to me, and she is with Schenectady Peer Group, as is James Ennis, or Jim Ennis. we got to be friendly here. Don't yes, we, we do. Thank right. you. Uh, tell me, what is your group, and what are you doing? Well, Peer stands for People Empowered Experiencing Recovery. And for years, we think of the word recovery with AA 12-step groups. What has happened now is we've taken mental illness and substance abuse and addictions and put them together. Well, they kind of do they seem overlap. to, yeah. Many, many times you'll find a person who has a mental illness also has some type of an addiction. Because maybe they're trying to escape that. Usually that's what's happening. Yeah. I know in my personal story, mm -hmm. um, that's what occurred. Mm -hmm. You know, that um, in my own personal story, unbeknownst to me, um, I started picking up on the drinking. One of the nice things about Schenectady Public Health was they recognized this years ago, long before many other people did, and they incorporated my treatment as the substance abuse and the mental health issues. Mm -hmm. And so what Peer Connect the Air Advisory Board has done is there's been a major change in treatment, and there's been major change in Medicaid re redesign, and it, because of that, one of the things that was sort of lost a little bit was very important to recovery is peer support. Helping each and other that's out. How you use the PEER. It's yeah. kind of a double yeah. duty because yeah. it yeah. stands for something else, yeah. but still, yeah. it gets the message out. Oh, there. yeah, yeah. And what Jim and I have experienced is, and what we're trying to do as part of peer, is the education process. Many times we find stigma plays a very important role in our recovery. It hurts. It hurts a lot. Many times it'll hold people back. Um, they won't go for treatment or they're afraid um, they may lose their job if somebody finds out they have some type of health condition. Jim and I personally have experienced that. Jim? Yes, I have. Um, I wrote to you and I uh, said yeah. in the email thank that Thank you I, very much for reaching out to me. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I mentioned that I'm a person living successfully with bipolar illness. Mm -hmm. I am not bipolar. I have an illness of bipolar. And I think that needs to be differentiated because many times people will identify it because of our illness. Oh, if she's schizophrenic or he's, that's not fair. A label. Thank you. You're putting a person in a box that doesn't belong in a box. Because you don't say, oh, they're diabetic. Thank you. Or they're, they're cancer. Yeah. The thing is that you've got to give people respect for what they're doing with their life. Mm -hmm. There are millions of people who are living very successfully with their mental health issues. We have lawyers, we have doctors, we have judges, we have uh, you name it. There's all kinds. And we're successful. And what really ticked me off was I was watching this last presidential campaign and the two candidates said something about Oh, we can't give them guns because they have a mental illness. I wouldn't know what to do with a gun. You can't put them all in the same box. <laughs> Thank yeah. you, okay? Right. You can't. For, I am very fortunate to be able to work at Ellis Hospital mm -hmm. as a peer counselor. Mm -hmm. And I get the opportunity to facilitate groups with people who are in deep, deep trauma. I mean, straight off the street. Well, you got post-traumatic, uh, you know, that stress. That is part is of big, life. Unfortunately, big, big, yeah. I have seen so many people get their life together because of the assistance that was giving, given in a simplistic program that's offered by Ellis Hospital. And these people are still out there. They have jobs. They have bank accounts. They're doing fantastic. And I was just a tiny little part of that. Mm -hmm. And I feel blessed because of it. But you, you really act as a support yeah, and, this and what makes encouragement. It, that's what makes it so powerful is taking our life experiences and guiding others to achieve their goals. Um, our success or our recovery, some people say recovered, is based on the fact of getting the peer support. There's many things that we don't know about or a counselor or a therapist or a doctor. And you will refer them and if there's a and our bigger peer support, issue. Since we've lived through it, yeah. you know, um, our, our group is not associated with any agency or organization. This gives us a lot of latitude, latitude. to work between agencies yeah. so there isn't a silo effect where 
this agency does that, but they don't know what this agency is doing. Well, is that the way? Yeah, that's, yeah. The, that's the old way. Yeah. And the other thing, too, is our veterans. So many of our veterans are hurting right now. Oh, my God. And they're coming home. We take with, a young guy, yeah. send him into a old. war situation, <laughs> yeah. and expect them to come back, just and, like they left. And, and that doesn't they happen. come home with severe depressions, post-traumatic stress disorder. We don't even know disorder. what they've been through or Yeah, we don't. And they need all the support and the stigma against mental illness. They shouldn't have to be feeling that stigma. Yeah. They've came, done a lot for us, and we need to give it back. So we have a whole new community of people that are coming in that really need a lot of support. And PTSD and major depression are considered mental illnesses. Mm -hmm. We need to bring mental illness out in front of the public. And like Jim says, educate people that a person can have a mental illness and it's only a small part of who we are. Right. I love building websites. I love working and repairing computers. I'm a motorcyclist. I love digital photography. Mm -hmm. All these things collectively. You aren't make just me one label, I, label, are you? Yeah, and collectively. Yeah. I'm, I saw your, your list of things on who, what makes Anne who she is. Yeah. And I know with Jim. <laughs> There's These, a lot that makes the, us yeah, what we focus, are today. My focus is to, not only, because I have mental illness, and I live successfully with it, and I have a, you know, I got my job, and everything. if anything I have to give somebody, it's a ray of hope, mm -hmm. yeah. okay? I drank for over 30 years. I don't drink no more. Mm -hmm. Did drugs for that long. Good for you. Don't do that no more. Mm -hmm. How? I can show you have time. Mm -hmm. That's what I want to do. That's what I do, folks. That's what you're trying to do. That's to what people. I'm doing, day yeah. after day after day. I'm a witness, okay? I, I love what I do. I enjoy it. I, I get, I'd rather be at work than anywhere else. <laughs> well, you see the success that, it, it, whenever, That's the we, thing. whenever we have a job where we feel that it's, it's making a difference or may, having an impact. It gives you a spark of life. It does. Yes, it gives you hope. It gives you a it's reason hope. to hope to help. Yeah. When I see people I had contact with get their life together, mm -hmm. I said, wow. Now, how can they get in touch with you? I see we're almost out of time here. How can they get well, in touch with our, you? Well, our phone number is 557-6019. We also have a website. It's a very easy one to, to uh, remember. It's connected to peer, the P -E -E -R mm -hmm. dot com. And you're more than welcome. Um, our website has a lot of information. A lot of information. Lot I, of I was information. incredible what I yeah. got off um, that. So All of this is volunteer. Mm -hmm. Like I said, we do have support from members of, that work for Ellis, like Lynn Davidson, who's the director of peer services, and Mary LaFountain from the county community service office uh, is the substance abuse person. These two women came up with this idea of bringing us together to Good. see what we can do for our community. Check it out. We put up the website up there. Give them a call if you know someone that can benefit from this, or perhaps you might like to join them and, and be part of the solution.